The uh, ref on this one is going to be Sergei, Sergei Zemna. Are we ready for the first round? Let's get it on. There we go. I'm looking forward to see what the tune-up does. Let's see what the tune-up does. Let's see what the tune-up does. Участников этого поединка в красном углу боец, которому 17 лет. Его рост 175 сантиметров, вес 66 килограммов 900 граммов. На профессиональном ринге провел 13 поединков. Одержал 13 побед. Три победы одержаны нокаутом. Представитель Орловской школы Чадины из России. Флот в синем углу боец, которому 21 год. Его рост 175 сантиметров вес, 67 килограммов. Профессиональный дебют на ринге. Представитель России. Роберт Бойцы на середину. Боксируем по правилам WFR. Не нарушаем правила. Броски и скрутки запрещены. По углам удача. Первый. I mean, Vlad, he looks extremely fit. If you, if you look at, if you look at the, the, the wings on, this, on his yeah, back he's, side. He's got some lats on him, that kid. Yeah. But, ooh, a nice right leg kick. Just kind of brushes it aside nonchalantly. Had a good sound to it, even if it didn't have any effect. I like that slap. It was good. A nice, let's well, try to be a, a back roundhouse kick. It was a well-timed counter. It seems like very both fighters right now are extremely cautious of uh, each other, and obviously you know, it's not going to last for three rounds. Yeah, that's surprising uh, that I, the, the tune-up will come out come out like this uh, this passive. Yeah, I was actually expecting him to be uh, a much more aggressive fighter. He likes to go, he likes to steamroll his opponents. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. So open it up a little bit. <laughs> nice inside leg kick by Robert. RK, Robert Kaz. Let's go with Robert Kaz tonight. Robert K. I like that. Robert K. Straight out of Midwest USA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a beautiful knee to the face on that one. That's actually a really good knee to the face. And it caught him. It did uh, one little star around Tuna's head. A right by uh, Robert. Oh. I mean, the, the, the issue is we don't even know if Robert Cos, what kind of fighter is he? A speed fighter? Is he a, a technician? Is he a knockout fighter? And I, I'm not sure even uh, Vlad knows. But I do know that he has some pop when you, so far, the, the, throw, the punches he has thrown and the kicks he has thrown, they have some pop to him. Yeah, and that's a good point. Uh, the, yeah, I think that part of, you know, uh, Tuna's cautiousness is the fact that there's really no tape on this kid and he's really not, he has no idea what to expect. So uh, it's just trying to feel it out and see what to, uh, see what kind of game plan to draw for the next two rounds. Nice little quick combination by Robert. Good counter right. A little sportsmanship there by Tuna. So far, they both seem extremely technically sound. And as I say that, I was just, uh, <laughs> I was just uh, Tuna got caught with both, both wings in the air, so to speak. And, uh, 10 seconds in the first round, it's about to end. I'm going to say this round doesn't go to anybody. There's been nothing happening. That's a little bit rough right there. No twisting. You're not allowed to twist or throw in W5 fighting. It was, a, it was a slow first round. I'm going to say there was nothing exciting that happened. It was sporting on both parts. They were both uh, respectful of each, of each other. And uh, yeah, that was, a, that, was a, that was a tester, so to speak. So the judge right now is talking to the referee. He clearly sees uh, Robert Cobb doing something that he shouldn't do. Which clearly there's a warning coming. And, and that's important because if it falls again, uh, we're not, we don't do yellow cards. I don't know if you've ever seen this in the box. I actually saw it in a couple of
Kasha, thank you, Kasha, the bell. All righty, guys, we are about to start round two. Let's hope there's a little bit more excitement. Not much has Let's happened. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, look already how red their skin is, and there was very few uh, punches and kicks thrown. Uh, and these guys both have a lot of pop when they when they connect. Yeah, was nice there's a lot of snap on both their punches. That's yeah. a good point. Counter actually there by Robert. Glad uh, through that leg. Yeah, he, came, he, came in, he came in strong with that left. Hey, right now, Robert's lucky he backed away. That, that leg came up high by Vladen. Don't it would have connected. A little sloppiness yeah. there. I'm going to say the problem with Robert right now is you're going to see a lot of maturity. He seems to be willing to wrestle. Oh, nice got, right got by Robert. Right nice a... shot. Caught him flush. And again, oh. left leg into the ribs by Robert. So far, it seems like uh, actually in the, early, in the early seconds of this round, a beautiful, beautiful right into the ribs of uh, Robert. He's got him. Vlad's got Robert. A nice combination to the head. Connected on all of them. It was absolutely a beautiful combination. And it's funny because in the early in the early seconds of this round, I was going to say that Robert was definitely dictating the tempo, but Vlad just I think took it over. I think he's just sizing him up and just waiting waiting for his moment. And, uh, and, that, and if that's indicative of what uh, Tuna has in his, in his repertoire, he's uh, he's definitely going to dangerous fighter. You know, dangerous side. fighter. I can't remember. Some of these fighters go to the back kick. Uh, that that. Uh, it's a devastating kick if you connect. That's the thing, but it's a high, it's a, it's yeah. a high, it's a low percentage of land, and uh, the, oh, that, oh, oh, that was something to do. Uh, that might be, you just don't want to make a knockout punch or match. <laughs> Let's see what happens, because, uh, I mean, right now I'm going to say if the ref wouldn't have uh, broken that up, I thought Vlad had him on the ropes, and I, I think he would have maybe knocked him down and the rest of that um, I don't even know how to do it. I would have classified that as a piggyback uh, over the shoulder. I don't know. I, I definitely show a warning of some sort of shit there. But both are throwing there. He's standing He's standing toe to toe. Just threw a big, big haymaker over the top. Kind of kind of messed up uh, Tuna's hair a little bit. Tuna with a great right hook right now to connect it square, flush, and a low kick. And a low kick. So Vlad just got it in a low kick to Robert. He's going to give him a, a bit of a timeout, I think, here to let him catch his breath. Yeah, that was, uh, he, knew, he knew right away, too, and he went over and shook his hand and gave him a hug and said, hey, man, my bad, my bad. And uh, so they'll, they'll, they'll give him some time to walk this off, as they should. And, uh, Will you ever get, come on, you ever get hit down there? <laughs> I mean, everybody ever yeah, usually, usually by a woman. Yes, but it makes you, <laughs> it makes you as nauseous as nauseous can be. It's the, it's a, it's the most undescribable feeling ever. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, the last time it happened to me, I think it took me like 20 minutes to recover. These guys have to do it within like a minute, so. But Vlad is starting to show his abilities. What was that? He just like uh, went really low on the ground through a kick. Good left by Vlad into the ribs. Again, again. Oh, he that's two. That, I that's two. That should be a point. That should be. And he knows it, and Vlad knows it, because he's going up and hugging and saying sorry, so he knows he's connecting. You've got to appreciate Vlad. the sportsmanship, you know, you yes. know these guys are there, they come out crazy. And so, come on. And they, yeah. Most fighters just put their hands up like, what? I didn't do it. It's all about accountability. And he is apologizing. But I don't think it's not, it's definitely not intentional. I mean, he's going up trying to go up high with that knee, and he's catching them in, in, the, in the nether regions. And they took a point away. The point has been taken away from Vlad on that. That was good. So now he has to knock out, or he might actually get end up with his first loss. So I'll tell you right now, the first round clearly uh, went to nobody. Was but Robert's staying his ground. These guys are duking out. Vlad's got him. He's got him in the corner. He's throwing combinations. He's got him. He's got him on the run. He's going to knock. He knows it. He knows he lost the point. He knows he lost the point. Robert can't do anything. He can't. He's done. He's got him in the corner. He's just throwing left, right, left, right, left, right. He's doing nothing. He's trying to clinch, but he can't clinch. He absolutely doesn't know what to do. Defensively, he's stuck. A little bit of an arm and bar. He's still standing. Unbelievable. In the second round, I can't believe I can't believe that still standing. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't say that. I can't. How do you get out of that one? That was, a, that was Houdini. That was all Houdini. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors right there. He gets to walk away from that. Left, right, left, right, left, right.
when they threw him over the back. That was an exciting period of time. All right, guys, we're right, in the final round here. And uh, I, even with the point deducted, we with the point deducted, I think Vlad won the round. Three, two, round. And that was a... But... This, 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 could, this could be a short third round, I gotta say. It could be, and I think Vlad is going, he's definitely going, he's gonna go after him. A beautiful left hook by Vlad, he connected. Robert, Robert doesn't have any defense right now. I mean, Vlad is getting, just jabbed him right between the gloves and the bottom. Everything Vlad is, is throwing is pretty much landing, even if it's lightly. Robert's defense is completely just down. His defense is just down his feet right now. Yeah. 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 Wait, I gotta give it to him. It's, uh, he's hanging out. Here, another connect, right hook, left hook. Oh, this is no, hard. right hook, square to the oh. face. Another right hook. Oh, yeah. Left hook, knocks Robert down. He's wobbly. Look at him, he doesn't even know where he is right now. If this guy goes back out, I'll be surprised. Wow, he's not beautiful good. left that was right on the That was right on the chin. You saw his eyes roll back in his head. We have a go. From our vantage point, we're... It's over. It's over. Oh. He was looking, he was going to have a beautiful fight. Для награждения победителя в ринг приглашаются президент мировой версии WFA Сергей Чепенуга и руководитель компании Сетчаты изделия Олег Судонин. Бойцы на середину. Alrighty, guys, you are watching live.w5kick.com. I would like to thank Fox Beer, Rashogi Dom Commercial Bank. Дамы и господа, Андеркард, весовая категория до 67 килограммов. Нокаутов в третьем раунде. Победу одержал воспитание Карловской школы чайных Влад Туино. Орел. Дмитрий Иванов, генеральный директор фонтовской компании «Плечом к плечу», награждает победителя. Пожалуйста, памятная фотография. World, world champion, world champion, world champion. The Intercontinental Championship is actually uh, later on tonight between uh, Gagia and Chris Nagimbi. All righty, next we should have, you should be excited about this one, my man. We've got the girls fighting up next. Yeah. Uh, Nadia Chikova and Angela Takhirov. Yeah, I, I posted this one. I was here with the weigh-in yesterday. I got to say, Natalia Diachikova, she looked, she flexed, and I, and I almost ran out of the gym scared. I mean, this girl is cut, and she looks mean. Yeah, she's beautiful. <laughs> she has, she, uh, I, I like her in this fight a lot. Um, nothing against... Uh...